Today's episode is brought to you by Audible. I just finished listening to Michelle Obama's number one bestseller, Becoming, last week. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later on in the show. But if you have not started listening to this book yet, you need to get your whole life together, okay? Audible is offering my listeners a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. You can use this free offer to download Becoming, like I did, or any of the thousands of titles available on Audible right now. Just go to Audible audibletrial.com backslash unicorns talk to start listening now that's audibletrial.com backslash unicorns talk to get your free audiobook today welcome to unicorns talk podcast your weekly girl talk about black women our healing and manifestation my name is latrice sampson richards your life enhancement coach and together we're gonna live laugh, and learn to love all of life's little messes. While I am a licensed clinician, please keep in mind that this show is not a substitute for your own relationship with a mental health provider. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 56 of Unicorns Talk Podcast. My name is Latrice Sampson Richards, and there's only about three weeks left in 2018. OMG, like, where's the time going? Um, I did get a chance to get out of the house a little bit more and kind of explore around Germany uh, over the weekend, even though I really didn't go that far. But you know, I got out or whatever, (laughs) you know, Uh, I went to a nearby village called Spicer. I think it's called Spiker, Spicer, something like that. Um, And I found this store called Kick, K-I-K. And it kind of looks like a Dollar Tree on the inside, but they have like higher quality products, you know? So they have a lot of sales and a lot of clearance prices, which I love, but it's not a dollar store, if that makes sense since. I hope it does. Um, I've been looking to purchase a new winter coat because the one that I brought with me, which was a pea coat that I had from Old Navy, it just was not getting it. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it really wasn't cutting it or whatever. So I, um, I want, I needed to get another coat because the one that I have is really like three sizes too big. It's not warm enough. You know, it's just, I just needed another coat. So anyway, I found a super cute jacket and it has like a fur lined hood and stuff like that um which diva okay um and I was too excited because it was on sale I got it for like less than 20 euro so I was super excited about that um what else I also got a really nice pair of jeans which I usually don't wear jeans because it's hard for me to find plus size jeans that don't have half my ass hanging out you know what I'm saying or like my whole damn thigh hanging out or like some jeans that that look like some damn grannies only supposed to wear like that they don't look like they're made for people under the age of 60 you know I hate a granny jean I really do um it's like they think just because we're plus size that either you have to like let it all hang out so that you could show that you love your body or whatever like that's the only way to be body positive apparently is to like have half your ass hanging out and I'm just that's not me um or they feel like you're supposed to like cover it all up because don't nobody want to see all of that and shit like that you know so it's really hard to find something in the middle like what about those of us who just comfortable in our skin and we want to make sure that my booty look good from all angles you know what I'm saying like what's I don't understand why it's so hard for them to make clothes for me you know um but I know I cannot be the only one um that sees this you know all my little plus size ladies out there my big curvy round voluptuous ladies out there let me know you know what I'm saying because I struggle with the jeans that's why I really don't wear jeans I rather wear tights but there are certain situations where you need a nice pair of jeans. So anyway, I found a really nice pair of jeans at the little store. And so I'm really looking forward um, to wearing those and stuff like that. So I feel like it was a good trip or whatever. I feel like it was a nice little outing, um, getting out to see Germany a little more. And, you know, that's always a, a positive, right? 
Yeah. If you haven't already, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts or anywhere that you're listening right now. You can use the hashtag Unicorns Talk Pod across all of your social media to let me know that you're listening. Share it in your stories or whatever. You know, shout out your girl or whatever. Let me know that you're listening. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. Jump up in my DMs if you're interested in uh, having me talk about a certain topic or anything. If you have any questions or anything like that let me know okay all right so uh this year like I said earlier this year has flown by like super super fast um but so much has happened like in terms of my own personal and professional healing and manifestation and so my theme for 2018 was growth and I absolutely did that in so many ways I have grown as a wife, I've grown as a woman, as a black woman, um, as a business owner, as a creative, you know, and that's just to name a few, like, I've grown in so many different ways. And so, you know, we're all on this journey together. And we might be in different points in our journey or at different points in our journey. But we're all trying to make it together. And I really do appreciate that. So our theme for 2019 is transformation. Okay, transformation. And we're going to get a head start on it by laying out some of the groundwork over the next three weeks, right? So the the time that we have left in 2018, we're going to get our shit together and we're going to prepare for 2019. And I'm going to help you do that because each, because each week we're going to touch on some of the foundational principles of transformation. And starting on December 16th, I'm going to be releasing one new video a day on my Facebook page. Okay. So one new video a day for 15 days to give us a running start on the road to transformation. Now you can sign up and receive an email reminder for the road to transformation video series. It's going to be a link down in the show notes. Just click on it, put in your email. It's completely free okay um like there's not a catch or anything like that it's completely free um I I just think it's important for us to get ready for 2019 okay I'm going to give y'all some more information about that a little later in the show so make sure you listen all the way to the end to get that information all right but like I said our theme for 2019 is transformation so to make sure that we're all on the same page today I'm going to outline the four stages of transformation so that you can identify where you are in the process and be better equipped to come up with a plan to make 2019 the year that you walk into your next chapter. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The first stage of transformation is ignorance. Okay. Ignorance. And I mean this in the truest, purest sense of the word. Ignorance is really finding yourself in a place of not knowing. And there's a lot of things that you don't know about when you are in this stage of transformation. You don't know about yourself. There's lots of things that you don't know about yourself. There's lots of things that you don't know about your world, the world that you live in, the world that you've created. You know what I'm saying? So this this ignorance phase is really more about a lack of awareness, Okay, it's a lack of awareness. It's an unconscious state. All right. We we lack awareness of our own strengths. We lack awareness of our own weaknesses, our wants, our needs, our blocks, our obstacles. We we lack the information that we need in order to begin the journey of transformation. And so this is the first stage because typically you cannot fix something if you don't know that it needs to be fixed. And in the ignorance stage of transformation, everybody starts there at some point. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is that you don't know that you need it until you realize that you need it. Does that make sense? It's not something that is always taught to you. You know, I mean, hopefully 
ideally speaking, I guess, somebody somewhere along the way would say, hey, girl, don't forget you need to know how to do this. Hey, girl, don't forget this how the world work. Hey, girl, oh, yeah, by the way, this, this, and this, you know. But the reality is that not all of us have that person or or those people available to us who can really be able to sew into us the way that we need to be sewn into. And so that's not any fault of our own. And it's not, honestly, it's not their fault either. It's just what it is, right? It's just what it is. So we remain in this place of ignorance, it just unaware, unaware until we face a situation or an experience that requires us to know. And that's when we realized that we didn't have the information that we needed. Like a, a really good example of this, and I, I've been very open with y'all about my own business journey and like coming into my own as a business owner um, and figuring that out. Like, listen, this business ownership, this uh, uh, entrepreneurship journey and shit like that, it is not for the faint of heart. Let me tell you, okay? It's definitely doable, but it is not for the weak minded. Okay, it's really not it's not for the weak minded, because it's a lot of ups and downs. There have been so many things that I have come up against as I'm building my business and like trying to grow and things like that, that girl, I had no idea I needed that information. I was completely unaware that that I needed that information until I came up to a place where I needed to have it ready. And then I had to put everything on hold once I realized that I didn't have it and I had to go get it. And that's a part of this journey. That's, you know, that's how this works. So being in that stage of ignorance, it doesn't say anything necessarily negative about who you are or anything like that. It's just where you are in that moment. You don't know what you don't know. And so this ignorance phase, it can be difficult because it can cause us to overestimate or to underestimate. You know, um, when I talk about uh, vision planning and things like that, you know, I'm always talking about making sure that you understand what it is that you're up against, right? When you're in this ignorance phase, not knowing or not understanding what it is that you're up against, then you can overestimate what you can do. I am the queen of overestimation, you know? And, you know, it's weird because I feel like I overestimate and I underestimate at the same damn time. At the same time. I feel like I can handle more than what I actually can because I don't understand everything that goes into making something happen. But then at the same time, I underestimate because I don't, all the way understand how the skills I currently have can transform and transition into other arenas. It's, it's pure ignorance. It's pure ignorance. And so everybody starts off in this stage. You cannot have transformation until you, you have awareness, which is our second stage, right? Which is awakening. Okay. So we spend so much time in the ignorance stage until we become aware that there's something that needs to happen. And as we become aware, we go through this awakening. All right, which is stage two. We come we become aware of our ignorance and we realize that who we are. Or who we believe that we are is different from the reality of what we're putting out into the world, right? And for a lot of us, that's a hard pill to swallow. When we become aware of the things that we were previously ignorant of, that can be, you know, that can be difficult to manage sometimes. And it can create what's called cognitive dissonance, right? which is basically where your 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 thoughts are not necessarily matching up, right? With your values or your beliefs or whatever it is. I thought, listen, I thought that I was like a awesome, amazing, great, perfect business owner. Oh, I could do that. I got that. That ain't nothing. I could do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that, you know, 
things don't come difficult to me. Like, because my whole life, I've never really had to work very hard to do anything, you know? And so when I went into this whole entrepreneurship journey, I went into it with a certain understanding. So when I began to struggle, that was really hard for me. It was, it was really hard for me because it made me feel like a failure. You know what I'm saying? It made me feel like a failure because who I thought I was turned out not to be so, or not to be so with the skills that I currently had or that I had at that time. You get what I'm saying? And so it began, I began to question myself. I began to question my abilities, you know? So this can be, the the awakening can be a difficult stage for some of us. But it is a very important part of moving us forward because we have to go through this process of understanding where our deficits lie, what it is that we need to work on. You know, like we we have to go through that stage because you can't fix something if you don't know it needs to be fixed. You can't learn something if you don't know that you don't know it or that it needs to be learned. You get what I'm saying? Awareness leads to transformation. You cannot correct it if you're not aware of the need for correction. So while it may be difficult, it is necessary. It is a necessary part of the process. All right, the third stage of transformation is seeking. Seeking, S-E-E-K-I-N-G, seeking. So now that you are aware of the things that you didn't know, you can begin to acquire that information, right? So we start to seek out that information. And again, we seek out that information from all different kinds of sources. We seek out that information um, about all different kinds of topics. Like, you know, everybody's seeking phase is going to look a little different, right? But the fact that you're listening to this podcast, this is a part of your seeking because I provide valuable, tangible information on this show to help you to be able to move your life forward, right? So maybe you don't listen to every episode. That's fine. I mean, I want you to listen to every episode, but maybe you don't need to listen to every episode. Maybe you can go through and you can say, oh, I need to learn more about this. I need to learn more about that. And you can specifically identify the lessons that you need to gather, right? So we get information or we seek information about the things that are going to better us as individuals or things that are going to move us forward. What is it that I am lacking, right? In the awakening stage, I I identify what it is that I'm lacking. In the seeking phase, I go about the business of getting that information, okay? And sometimes that means improving or, or making changes in different areas, right? Because as I gather that information, then I'm going to start implementing that information. Okay? Taking chances, right? Trial and error, making tweaks, practice makes perfect, all of those euphemisms. Okay? So the seeking phase of transformation is an intentional phase. It is a conscious phase, right? That's when we're taking the classes, we're taking the courses, we're downloading the videos and signing up for the newsletters. We are, uh, you know, paying for the one-on-ones to, to talk to people and meet with people. We are doing the master classes. We are doing the mini courses. This is where we're Googling. We're getting information on Google. We're going introspective. We're learning, we're having these conversations with ourselves that we were not having before. We're gaining a deeper understanding of who we are and what it is that we're trying to manifest in this life. What is it that I actually want? What is it that I need? What do I like? What do I not like? What kind of person do I want to be, right? 
who are the people in my life that are my core people and who are the people in my life that are my PRN people, right? Like what is it that I need to know in order to move this life forward? Maybe we need to focus on our vulnerability. Y'all know that's a huge thing for me. Uh, you know, it, it still is a huge thing for me. I Every day I'm learning new things about my own struggles with vulnerability. Seeking never stops. Seeking is an ongoing process, right? Maybe I need to learn more about financial freedom. Maybe I need to holler at the frugal credit nista, get some information, join her academy, the wealth creators, you know? Maybe I need to check out the budget nista. Maybe I need to get uh, somebody to manage my books and my business or whatever it is that I'm, that, that I'm doing, you know, whatever it is that I need to get done, right? It's about seeking out that information and, and implementing, whether that is implementing personally or seeking assistance for information or seeking assistance for implementation, to fill those gaps, all right? The seeking phase is the action phase. This is where your transformation really takes place. This is transformation in action, okay? And then once we get through the seeking phase, which can last, it's like I said, it's ongoing, so it's, it's, you know, constantly evolving. But then the fourth stage of transformation is sustainable manifestation. Sustainable manifestation. So the more you practice your skills in the seeking uh, stage, the more implementation you do, the more assistance you get, right? The practice, 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 the better that you get at it. And so those skills and those understandings and that information that was new at one point in time is now the norm. It's like second nature to you, right? You have effectively transformed you have effectively made lasting or, or made change in your life. And so the fourth stage of sustainable manifestation is about making that transformation lasting. Okay. It's about reproducing those results to the point where it becomes unconscious. It's just a part of who I am now. See, when I first started in the seeking stage, I had to put some thought, some effort into doing things differently, intentionally doing things differently. But now that I'm in the sustainable manifestation stage, I don't have to think about it as much. It's just what I do. You get what I'm saying? It's just how I operate now. Right? You get to a point where success is inevitable. Because you have made that transformation. Okay. Now you're going to be different points in your life or different life areas are going to, you know, put, you're going to find yourself in different stages, depending on those life areas. And that's fine. In one life area, I might be in sustainable manifestation, but in another life area, girl, I might still be ignorant. And that's okay, too. That's okay, too. As long as you are willing and able to identify that and acknowledge that for yourself. Where am I? What phase am I in? What is it that I'm struggling with? You know, life is all about transformation. And every experience we have shapes us and molds us into the person that we are intended to be. So understanding where you are in your transformation journey is going to go a long way in terms of helping you to prepare yourself to get to where it is you're trying to go. All right. 
All right. So were you able to identify which stage that you were in? You know, I want to know. Let me know. Shoot me an email at unicornstalkpod at gmail.com and let me know where you are in your change journey. Also, I did a webinar a few months ago called How Change Works, and it's a really good supplement to this information and to everything that we're going to be discussing as we move through our transformation journey or on the road to transformation. Okay. And so you can and get that webinar and the accompanying worksheet completely free at the link in the show notes as well. So make sure you sign up for that. Check it out. It's free. Ain't no reason to not do it. Okay. All right. Coming up next is high five. Okay, so today's high five goes to Michelle Obama and her new book, Becoming. Um, I, like I said, I, I downloaded the book on Audible using my Audible free trial, okay? Um, and I absolutely loved it. I, like, I couldn't even listen to anything else. And y'all know how I feel about my podcast. But I couldn't even listen to anything else because I just needed to hear like whatever was coming next in this book. Like I freaking loved everything about this book. I love um, the openness and the vulnerability that she showed um, in terms of letting us in. I love that the book was about her and she talked about her relationship with Barack, but she didn't make the book about him. It was about her experience of him. And I really appreciated that because I think, you know, for a lot of women who are married to powerful men, you know, it makes it difficult for your own power to to really be able to shine through. And she talks about that in the book. You know, she talks about how, you know, being she became known as Barack Obama's wife, you know, or the wife of a senator, the wife of a president, things like that. But she was her whole own ass person before she met him. She actually was further along in her career before she met him. She's, she was a whole human being um, with or without him. She was a whole human being. And so I love that, you know, the story, she told her story, but she also talked about how he helped to shape her story you know, um, because I say that about my husband all the time. I love my husband. He's not perfect by a long shot. We have been through things. We have experienced things that have not always been easy. But one of the things that I really love about my husband is that he has helped me in my own transformation and, and, you know, just allowing me and giving me the space to be able to continue to grow. And she talks about that with her relationship with her husband as well. It was so well written. Um, the audible version of of the book is actually voiced by Michelle Obama herself. And I never really realized how soothing her voice is, you know. Um, she has a good voice. Uh, it was easy to listen to her. Um, her, you know, like the her her um her dialogue was very easy to follow. Uh, I just, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the book from start to finish. Uh, she, she talked about uh, this fight that she had when she was in high school or something or middle school uh, with this girl named Dee Dee who kept fucking with her, you know, and I mean, all of it, like I really, I loved the book. And so I want to give a high five to uh, Michelle Obama and just for being awesome and amazing and for shining the light on, you know, what it's like to be a strong black woman um, who's not always strong, you know, um, I, I appreciated that a lot. So if you have not yet listened um, or checked out the book, some of y'all bought the book just to say you had it, you ain't listened to it yet. I mean, you ain't read it yet or whatever it might be. Go ahead and make that happen. It is well worth your time and energy. There's a lot of really great nuggets in that book. So high five to Michelle Obama, um, you know, for for just putting it all out there. Our reality check today also comes from Miss Obama, Mrs. Obama, um, because the ongoing theme throughout the book was really centered around her feelings of inadequacy, you know, and that really hit home for me. I've talked very openly with you all about my own struggles when it came to, uh, you know, imposter syndrome and things like that. And, um, you know, feeling 
questioning myself. You know, I, I talked about it just a little while ago. I talked about it, questioning myself and my abilities and things like that from time to time. And so many of us really struggle with that. And so it was it was nice to hear or it was refreshing, I'll say, because it's never nice, but it was refreshing for sure to hear somebody who, you know, seemingly has it all together, who has made all of these accomplishments in her life, who really seems like a go-getter, to discuss her own struggles with, in, you know, feelings of inadequacy, you know, and I think it just kind of solidified for me something that I already knew, but it drove home the point that, you know, this is a part of the journey sometimes, you know, uh, we go through these ups, we go through these downs and, and it's a part of the journey. It's, it's how we get to the next phase. It's how we get to the next level, um, is by persevering through those things. And so, um, you know, I think just the reality check is always a reality check for me more than it is for y'all. I get that. Um, but it really was that, you know, nobody can escape it. This is how change works. This is what the journey looks like. And so I think it's important for us to know that and understand that because we always feel like we're the only one. Like we always feel like it's just us, that nobody else is struggling. God, the first lady had struggled. And she talked about it openly in her book. And so today's reality check, I think, is that you're not the only one and that it's a part of the journey. So embrace it and and push forward. Okay. All right. Uh, I do want to give a few shout outs today. Um, Of course, I want to give another shout out to Nativa Heard, the Frugal Credit Nista. Um, She has the Credit on Fire Wealth Building uh, Academy, and I'm doing a a workshop with them right now, Reflect, Release, and Refocus for 2019. And it is going so well. I'm getting so much great, awesome, and amazing feedback from the ladies um, who are participating in the group or participating in the challenge. I do have another challenge coming up for y'all um, in January. I'm going to be making some announcements for that real soon. That one is going to be open to the public though. Um, like I said before, you know, we are focusing on the road to transformation right now. So don't forget to join us on the road to transformation. December 16th through the 30th, I will be posting a new video each day on my Facebook page on a different topic related to transformation, okay? The videos are going to be available for 24 hours. Once they're posted, they're gonna, only going to be available for 24 hours. They, then that one is going to come down and a new one is going to go up. So make sure that you sign up for the email reminders so you do not miss them, okay? It is completely free to participate. Any and everybody can participate. So there ain't no reason for you not to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You did. <laughs> also, get my webinar, How Change Works, with the free worksheet in order to help you to really implement this change as we move forward. You know, I'm a very big, big, big proponent of education, understanding. So we need to understand the reality of how change works so that we can make sure that we have appropriate expectations, okay? So um, the the webinar goes really, really well with this. You can sign up to receive that for completely free in your inbox. Um, and, you know, get this information, y'all. It don't make no sense not to get this information. And it is great information, okay? I'm not just saying that because I created that. That shit I'm just saying because it is okay make sure you join my Facebook group trust village a safe space for healing and manifestation the link again is in the show description and follow me on all of the social media at unicorns talk pod um, on Facebook Instagram and Twitter or you can follow me directly at Latrice Sampson Richards on Facebook and Instagram at L Sam Richards on Twitter okay Listen on the web, everywhere that the show is available. Make sure you rate and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. And um, that's it. That's all I got for y'all today. Holla at your girl. I love you and I appreciate you. And until next time, be well. Bye, y'all.